Hello, I'm Sarah Pimbra and I'm about to read a short extract for you from uh, my very new and very shiny novella um, Poison, which is a retelling of Snow White, which is a little bit saucy, although we're going to sort of loiter on the edge of sauce on this reading. Um, but I need you to pay attention because there will be a question at the end of this. Uh, and if you get it right, you could win a signed copy of the book from the lovely team at Glance. So, if you're listening carefully, I will begin. He hid behind the thickest willow trunk and waited. She emerged from the water not long after, standing on the bank and tipping her head back to squeeze it from her black hair, as naked as the day of her birth and brazenly comfortable with it. Where the queen chose to hide in her tower, this princess was earthy, a creature of nature. Her slim legs were long and firm, and she moved with the grace of the finest white stag. This was no delicate animal, no skittish forest deer. She was beautiful without a doubt, but not fragile. She was fuller figured and rounder featured than her stepmother. Generosity made flesh. Her stride was confident, and sunlight glittered on the drops. That would be my text. On the drops of water that clung to her skin like jewels. She paused and stretched smiling at the mix of warm air and cool liquid on her drying body. That was what was so wrong with the Queen, he realised, as he watched the girl so comfortable in her nudity. She was equally beautiful, but with none of the freedom or calm of this princess she hated. She was harder. One day she'd harden, so much the pressure would shatter her. Snow White paused and frowned, and before she had time to realise she wasn't alone, the huntsman stepped out in front of her. He held up her clothes. Looking for these... She crouched slightly, making ready to fight, but made no effort to cover her glorious nakedness, and her eyes darted here and there, searching for a potential weapon. Okay, so the question I am going to set you is when the sunlight glittered on the drops of water that clung to her skin, what simile did I use to describe this? Thank you.